Okay, so, um, I just wanted to clear before I talk about people pleasing because one of you is, wants to know what I think about people pleasing and like what my experiences or, you know, my advice. Um, before that, I did want to say my last video, the whole Sibley Mending thing, I do want to apologize because I did not mean to be so cold about it, about, you know, like, the, um, AM, if you're, if you, if you're listening to this, I hope you are, because I did forget to mention that <clears throat> it does not mean that you need to stop trying to be loved. Um, or you'll never be loved. I'm just saying that you need to, you shouldn't try to be loved to the point where it like puts you in a spot where the other person doesn't try and you're doing all the trying. And then also you need to find the group that loves you for you. And I know it sounds cheesy, like everybody says that, but you need to find the group because family is, it doesn't have to be the place where you find fulfillment and like love and relationships you know what I mean like there are friends out there there are people out there that understand you and you don't have to walk on eggshells and you don't have to do the most effort because the way I read your message or your question was that you were putting in effort you were already putting out effort you've been putting in effort but it's just you're at a standstill because the other person's not meeting you there and it's almost like you know, it's, it's weird because it doesn't work that way. It's never going to work that way. And that's something I had to learn the hard way because I always felt like I had to put so much in for very little. And then I would tire myself out. And when I, I would stop, they would either hate me for it because they were used to me doing 100% of it or they would, you know, like leave. So just let, let people leave or, you know, you have to find your people. And that's so important because once I stopped um, trying to force my like, whoever I wanted friends especially friends because it's like I felt like I was trying so much for people that weren't even giving me much of real friendship um I felt I started to feel better about myself because it puts you in a spot where if you're trying too much you almost feel like you're inferior and they have more power because you're giving them all of your power you know and they're giving very little so it's almost like you have to pay for more than they 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 have to put in I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm so sorry if that sounded so harsh. Like, I was listening to, like, my video again, and I was cringing because I'm like, oh my god, you sound like such an asshole. And then I read your message, like, oh no, no, I'm not trying to say you're not, like, I'm not trying to say you can't be loved. I'm saying these are the wrong people if they're not putting in effort, okay? And that's something I learned of my old, old age. That's something I had to learn the hard way, and I really hope, like, a lot of you, if you haven't experienced this, and am if you have with like other people or whatever i mean, swear it's easy it, it sucks walking away but once you do you start to find who you are and you you don't miss that anymore because it wasn't what made that person like a, a person to be around was how much credit you gave them how much value you gave them but they don't really have that value if they don't value you if that makes any sense i hope it does but yeah i'm sorry for being so cold and I will try to be better next time because I was so rude. I just feel so like guilty about it. Like I even wanted to remove the whole video, but I'm like, oh, I don't want her to think that I like didn't want to answer hers anymore or something, you know? Yeah, go ahead and cancel me for um, being such an asshole because I don't know. I just thought that was so rude. But um, now, fairy, fairy. I forgot the rest of your name. I'm so sorry. Um, I know you're a fairy. <laughs> Um, I used to believe in fairies back in the day. I think I wanted to. I wanted to believe in fairies, but I didn't really. Anyways, that's not the point. Oh, I'm sorry. I do believe in you, so maybe that's kind of like healing my inner child. So the people-pleasing thing, you have to find out. I I'm guessing you said you wanted some advice on it. Um, and I'm guessing you want advice on how to stop doing it because it's not like a good thing to do but the thing is in order to stop doing anything that's you consider bad or toxic or isn't helping you or serving any sort of purpose for you is you have to find out the reason why are you why do we seek 
why do we seek to people please you know like why are we doing this and i personally i am a people pleaser and it sucks but the reason i'm a people pleaser and maybe this is your reason too is i in childhood i was in a toxic household just like everybody is come on let's just say how it is every household is on the on some sort of level of toxicity some more than others i would say personally for me because i'm a sensitive person and it sucks i'm a very sensitive person i get bothered easily i'm so sensitive that i'm it's like i my sensitivity extends like a blanket to other people and if anybody like i have a blanket and i'm just like i put it on everybody i care about if anybody talks to that person wrong or whatever i hate that person it pisses me off and it, it hurts my feelings if you hurt my people's feelings it hurts my feelings sometimes more than my actual person whoever it is like i remember like if something happened to my siblings or my brothers or whoever i would get more hurt about it and think about it more than they did like it was just so annoying so because i'm so sensitive i'm a people pleaser i'm like oh my gosh i have to make this blanket metal so it doesn't ever like nothing hurts my people when i put it on so that was a reason like coping i swear like don't tell my mom but i swear dude she had anger problems growing up like it was so bad like she denies it now but it's like it was so bad and it was scary because it scared my siblings a lot it did scare me too but because of my blanket and my freaking button won't work open open are you kidding me right now i don't want to be stranded i don't have a key i don't understand bring a key oh okay what was i saying i forgot oh yeah so my mom had some anger problems she did have to raise four kids by herself because my dad was always working so there's that and um she would get really mad and i think about it I'm like oh my gosh we were bad kids but i think back at it we were not bad kids i got in trouble and and like beat up not beat up okay it's just beat up like i got spanked but it was uh, the spanking never hurt it was more like the fear the extreme anger of my mother that really hurt me and my siblings so once i realized it didn't hurt the actual sp like slapping of my ass no i'm just kidding that sounds weird it started to turn me no i'm just kidding like, can you imagine my mom really turned me oh no we're not in alabama no i'm just kidding no once i realized it didn't hurt as a child i i realized like i had some sort of um something to lean on that's like oh it's never gonna hurt but it did hurt emotionally the thing was also like when she would yell at my siblings I hate yelling. Like, yelling hurt more. Like, I, I'd rather her just, like, pull my hair or let's get it over with, slap me. Then, because I remember sometimes I'd say something and she'd slap me. Like, um, and I'd be like, oh, God. And it'd be embarrassing. I'd be like, damn, that humiliation stings. But then I'd get over it because the yelling wasn't there. Like, we just, we're done. Like, I'm done being disciplined. We can move on, you know? Because of that, I, I grew up very, like, you know, walking on eggshells. And I learned that how to kind of cater towards my mom's feelings and my dad's when he was at home and then eventually how to how to cater to my siblings who were hurt by my mom or dad it was always me and my siblings against my mom and dad they were kind of like the bad guys because they were they didn't know how to parent you know they weren't taught and they were young they were really young my mom was a teenager she was 17 and when she had me so it was just like and then she had kids back to back so it's like we're closer in age i get the youngest my youngest sibling is eight years um younger than me that that is a lot but like it could have been more and the fact that it's like all of us were kind of like little or whatever at the same time we were all out doing whatever you know and even just cleaning pennies it made a mess like i just wanted to clean pennies as a child and that got me in trouble because i made a freaking mess you know and she didn't want to keep cleaning everything but yeah like because i would always I, I felt like i had this blanket over my people my siblings and they were just so important to me it was so important for them to be okay sometimes my mom would hit me and i'd be really really scared and cry but then i'd wipe it off and run back in the room and like make them laugh because i didn't want them to know that i was upset because if i was scared i was a big kid you know if the big kid is scared they're all gonna be scared you know what's the point of scaring them and that's how i learned to people please so nowadays i fix me and my mom's relationship and i tend to get so when i attach myself codependency it's really fun 
do not recommend it it makes you very very prone to like people please and i need to work on that that's why it's like i'm not the best person but i am the good the best person to relate and that helps so we can all um kind of simmer in the people pleasing and talk vent about it basically what i'm doing so go ahead leave your comments tell me what have you been people pleasing do you still do it how what do you think we can do to stop it and what i learned to stop it because i've i've gotten better over time it actually wasn't even my uh, my doing like it actually just happened to me which i'm grateful for now but back then i wasn't so um when you learn as a child to people please like i did it's called it's, it's basically a survival skill because you needed to survive in where you are as a child i needed it to survive in order to like i kind of had to read or understand and always read um my mom and dad's emotions because it would affect everybody else and see who was so even today if i'm in a room with people i can pick up on who's the most saddest and i will go out of my way to make them happy which is not good and i have stopped doing that that's why i don't hang out with a lot of people at work because i used to do that where it's like i knew we were all in the little group and people would talk about their traumas and stuff and one person wouldn't get to talk about theirs and i'd be like damn like i need to get them like i, I feel so bad like let me ask them tomorrow and i remember it and they when i catch them alone i'm like hey i remember you you know and it's like it's not my job it's not my damn job and that's something you could do it's like every time something happens where it's like i don't know if you emotionally people please but i emotionally people please like if something bad happens everybody's more likely to tell me except the people have cut me off because people pleasing at least mine this is what i'm guilty of it's manipulative okay and i learned that and it hurt to learn that in therapy that i've been manipulating my family this whole damn time even as a, even as a child because i wanted them to love me and i didn't think i was good enough to be loved on my own so i would go out of my way to do the most and i remember doing this i remember i thought if i die I want them to remember me and I want them to care because I thought if I didn't care for them, overly care for them, then they wouldn't cry about, they wouldn't remember who I was. I remember even writing my name on, on the walls of my, our old house as a child when I learned how to write it. I would write my name on the walls because I was convinced I'd have to like either die or run away because my mom, I was convinced she hated me because she, she would like, she'd get so mad, you know? So I would write it on there and like, she can't forget me. And I would write my name because I thought she would forget me. So after that, I got, I got whipped for that shit too because I was writing all over the walls and she made me wipe it off but it was <laughs> it was so embarrassing because i'm like you have to remember me though and i'm just erasing them anyways so yeah that's um i am like way too good at that because it's like it's automatic now and i hate it and my therapist is like you can't force people to like you by reading their emotions and making them happy all the time because it's like you know when you're happy or very like i don't know um you're you have a lot of dopamine or whatever and I wanted to be the reason people were happy. I wanted them to realize that with me, whatever you feel, you're going to leave feeling better. And it's not good. It's not good, okay? Because first of all, you're, we're neglecting ourselves. I've never had somebody other than like my friend where like they read my emotions. You know what I mean? They didn't read my emotions. Like they didn't, they didn't give me... Um, care like they didn't like are you okay or like not even are you okay that's too obvious the prying i was like oh like um you know i was thinking of like what do i do it's always so weird like i, I don't know how i do it but it's just so obvious like um one thing i do with my mom even today because i know like she doesn't have friends you know like um like oh that sounds so rude like me and my mom are very like introverted and we don't like go out much so that's why we don't talk to anybody you know so my mom like when she, i know she has something to tell me because she feels sad about something i'd be like what's going on or like i'd be like oh anything happening with your show because i know she likes shows and dude my people pleasing will go so far as like i don't care about my mom's show i never cared about it i didn't care for a lot of my brothers and sisters stuff but i'll go and research it i'll go research it i'll go watch all the episodes i'll binge watch everything just so i can so they can talk to me about it like my mom she doesn't have anybody that 
like in the house that will watch her Spanish shows because she like obviously she's Mexican so she like watches shows on Spanish everybody just watches them in English and I feel so bad so I'm, I started watching this show um with her and now I'm invested like now I care and like sometimes I'll be like oh I don't care that much but because she cares I care my blanket's already on her and it's freaking annoying so like one of the things I started doing like my therapist would tell me to do is you have to make boundaries which sucks so I guess I have to cut my blanket off and only cover myself but I, I really want to keep covering people up you know like what if they're cold you know if they're cold I'm cold how do you stop doing that I need to ask her that when I, I ask her that and she gives me an answer I'll let you guys know what she says but it's gonna take a while because right now she's trying to tell me about spiritual stuff and I don't really believe in like you know I, I maybe it's like I do but like not to the hippie level does that mean I don't I don't mean to be rude but I just she's very like into crystals and stuff and I just I'm not that into crystals and I, I it kind of bores me but there I go maybe I'll go research it and get all into it but anyways I'm not gonna people please my therapist okay that's the only one that I'm just like because the thing is we grow up with unconditional love so now we have to like try to force people to see our value and try to be the the puzzle piece they're missing in their life you know to make it complete I, I just want to be part of everybody's success and it's just not okay it's, it's kind of a selfish move and I it, not like I know a lot of us don't like mean well by it but it comes down to it nobody really knows a real us because we're just lying we're lying we're giving white lies to please and it's sad we're digging ourselves a hole and now we need to get out before somebody buries us in it and it might be us so one of the things is boundaries i'm sorry i'm all over the place i have a lot to say about this topic and i didn't realize it until you mentioned it so thank you for mentioning it little fairy it's like you're in my head so boundaries like um i did make a boundary with my mom i did tell her like she wants me to do everything for her especially if nobody else wants to do everything for her so like i clean i she wants me to go with her places and i i used to do that a lot where i go places with everybody and like you know and she wants me to go translate and stuff and i told her like um i will go with you because it's kind of bullshit to like you know not translate i would hate to leave you there you know what maybe i should she did that to me in school like she just ditched me there anyways no i am not my parents <laughs> but um i just told her you know like we we don't have to help you you can't be mad if we don't help you we don't have to help you um because you know like you're an adult you guys are adults now we if you ask nicely we will help you but that's a bonus you should be happy that we help you not expect it so that was kind of my boundary i've also made boundaries with i think my sister i don't think she understood it because i was very angry so i'll i think i've said to her like if i have company you have to message me if you need anything if you want anything because i don't want i didn't want her coming in and like you know disrupting everything because my company is very introverted too like everybody if i have friends it's a very big if if i have friends they're very introverted like very introverted like me so it's kind of weird because it's like i thought extroverts f adopted introverts you know like i need to be adopted like i've been looking for somebody to adopt me so i can be codependent again no i'm just kidding oh my god i'm full of red flags dude it's like i'm healing but then i'm not two steps forward three steps back is that a thing i don't know but yeah i should send this whole video to my therapist but she'll probably block me again i'm just kidding she hasn't done that yet <laughs> um but yeah um boundaries and um also start to do stuff you know how you help somebody because you want that same thing Re replicated no replicate it i don't know how to say it but you want it to be the same for you so at least for me so i basically i'm showing people to care about me and how i want them to care for me but they never do it back so just stop doing it for them like don't do it for yourself like, that's what i was thinking too i remember driving home from work driving home from work yeah driving home from work sorry yeah a little slow up there but um i was driving home from work and i thought i had recently left a really toxic relationship um that was a waste of my time all of them were a waste of my time but that's for a different video 
if you if you want to know you know if you're younger than me which most of you are i need to tell you guys a lot of important shit before you go on looking for somebody this valentine's day don't do it okay the short answer don't do it don't fall for it don't let cupid get you okay i freaking hate cupid if i find him i'll spare all of you and i'll kill him i'll kill him right there and then i'll record it too so you guys can see the proof i'll happily go to jail oh my god i'm doing it again sorry okay back to the topic <laughs> we hate cupid in this in this channel if you subscribe that means you you subscribe to the murder of cupid um so that's that's something to keep in mind what was i telling you guys so yeah i was driving home terrible breakup not terrible more like it wasn't painful it was more very lonely but then it's been a few months three to be exact like three or two and I was thinking, oh my god, I have a new job. I, I'm not, I'm driving my car. I'm okay with driving my car. Do you see me? Like, this is a big step. Because when I'm in a relationship, they drive because I just get too comfortable. And besides, I'm paying for most of the shit, you know. The least that you, they can do is drive me around, what, to get coffee? That's all I really want. <laughs> and anyways, so I, I was driving and I was thinking... I just wanted somebody who was consistent, who cared about me, actually cared about me, not because of how I looked or or what I offered them, whereas it was money or time or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it was always, I always felt used. And it was because of my people pleasing, because I was constantly, I almost felt like I was trying to, um, what is it called? Like, I was trying to convince them to love me, which is stupid. So instead, I decided, you know what, all these things that I was doing I was consistent with them I was I offered gifts on their birthday I didn't get that by the way I didn't get well one one of my relationships I did but the rest I, I they didn't give me much like attention on my birthday in fact most of the time they do this little thing and then they leave and I made it like a whole day so it was just really sad and I'm not a big birthday person but I still want people to care especially if it's my significant other you know what I mean like it's just a different expectation so I was doing all this stuff for them going all out getting a very like deep present or whatever I was filling all the love language I did a massage like a back massage because um a long time ago I went to like a professional one I'm like oh my god I love the way they like the massage all your like the places you use the most like your arms and your back so I would do that for them I even did that for my siblings like when we went to like MOA we walked around a lot and they were little I would like we would sit down and their feet were hurting I would massage their feet and I was like I wanted somebody that filled all those spots and I'm like who is that person like do they even exist I'm like that's me like I do that I need to start and you know you hear this a lot in tiktok or anywhere really date yourself for a bit i'm gonna do that be everything i was for everybody else i'm gonna do it for myself like i'm gonna do it for myself i never let another person i liked like even as a friend or somebody i cared for i'd never let them starve so i'm not gonna do that shit because a lot of the times i starve myself as a form of like punishment because somebody didn't like me like, that's people-pleasing to an extreme. So chances are, if I argued with somebody, or they they hated me for something, and I felt like they didn't like me, I'd starve myself. I wouldn't eat. And that's, sorry, TMI, or not TMI, tr trigger warning. But that's just, it was so bad. And that's what we need to do. We need to start, instead of people-pleasing other people, people-please yourself okay every time you say i'm gonna do this for this person go do it for yourself you know just go do it for yourself i give myself a massage it's like i don't give a shit like, i'll put like lotion on my hands and my feet because like i do labor work oh my god something crazy happened at work but i'll tell you guys a different day because today i'm we're talking about people pleasing i feel like we can all relate because people pleasing tends to uh, associate with people that are very um emotional in a emotionally like intuitive i guess that's what my therapist says she complimented me sometimes when i pay her extra no i'm just kidding could you imagine it's like i'll give you five dollars if you give me a compliment she's like oh gosh this is so difficult oh my god what is wrong with me <laughs> imagine if she actually saw this she's like what are you talking about dude i never compliment no i'm just kidding <laughs> she did compliment me i promise she also roasts me sometimes that's when i don't pay her no i'm just kidding <laughs> anyways that's i don't know what else like what else could we do I think like if you wanted you know if you were in a shitty relationship or if you are currently in a shitty relationship 
treat yourself instead of the other person if they don't care about you treat yourself you know what i'm good i've been wanting to do i'm just scared to drive i want to treat myself to a professional massage on my birthday because i don't want to be around i just don't want to be existing because i just i hate my birthday so much i hate it i freaking hate it i've always hated it since i was 12 it's not because i'm old now it's because i freaking always hated it but yeah i'm sorry i'm all over the place like i swear some people think i'm on like something at work they're just like what's wrong with her but yeah um take care of yourself before you take care of others that's what i hear and it's it's hard when you're used to you know you lose your yourself because you care for others i remember when my siblings all were like in their own life and i was just in my room looking at the ceiling oh no what what do i do now what, what am i gonna do like i don't have anything you have to you know anything you like to do try it out any hobby anything you try it out you do it you know you don't have to go out to do it and pay like a class you can do it on youtube there's all kinds of videos on it you know i i like calligraphy i i would write calligraphy a little bit i don't do it as much anymore because i've got other stuff going on um and i know i, I really really want to be like looking getting very happy about the future helps it really does help your future not anybody else's yours focus on yourself what do you want for your life don't care about what anybody else thinks for example my cringy ass videos i'm so embarrassed of them i don't like you know talk about how proud i am on them i'm sorry i'm just i know i could do better i just don't really know what i'm doing with this other than like just talking to people that accept me for who i am conditional no I'm just, for now right until i get canceled for what i don't know i've already said a lot of dumb shit i'm sorry okay i'm not perfect but i'm trying because i'm a people please no i'm just kidding but yeah, I think one of the things is like accepting the fact that you might be a people pleaser and accepting that it's not helping you and it's not helping others because deep down inside, we're afraid of abandonment. But guess what? We're all going to die alone. I'm sorry. It's, it's pretty depressing, but we're all going to die alone. Now, if you want to be codependent and you can't let it go and you want to people please really, really bad and you can't just let it go, you can't drop it. Get yourself some cats, okay? You can people please you can cat please the hell out of them okay just don't give them too many treats and you can um what is it called people please be car dependent because they're cute okay and they deserve it and nobody's gonna know who's gonna know no one's gonna say anything i'm just preaching my cult of cat lady like a cat lady cult are you in or are you in there's no saying no you have to be part of it i don't care if you're a dude you have to be a cat lady you just have to accept the fact that you're gonna be a cat lady Anyways, this took a turn for the worse, but um, let me know what you guys think. What should me and uh, Fairy do for people pleasing? So we can all, you know, talk about it. Please share in your comments. I have to go because this video is already super long. Bye.